and using heroin. I mean, nobody, you didn't use heroin unless you were a hardcore junkie. I mean, unless you were one of those people you see in a movie that's like sleeping under some roof somewhere that has nowhere to live. And, and I think that the cycle has progressed throughout time. And at that time, people only injected it, right? And, and now they snort it a lot. Um, at least that's how they start. And so I think that the social stigma is not the same as it was. So it's, it's easier for people to rationalize, well, this isn't so bad, I'm just snorting it. I mean, not, not any worse than cocaine, which it is. Um, if you take a picture, just joking around with somebody, and it's a picture that so that person you took it of would not reasonably want to be taken. You know, if you were in your underwear or naked or anything, you sent it. If you took it over, if you took it with your phone, and you sent it to one person, that's a felony. Sure. Uh, this session that said if you had an ounce or less of marijuana, it would be decriminalized, decriminalized which means it's still illegal but not to the point that it is now. Now it's a misdemeanor, it's a criminal violation. Um, they wanted to bring it down to an infraction, which is similar to when you go get a speeding ticket and you're driving a certain mile, a mile of miles with the speed limit. You just have to sign the ticket and send it in. You don't have to go to court, you just pay the fine and it's over with. It has to make a decision. Do you believe marijuana is dangerous, um, not good for kids, kids and adults to use, something we don't want to say is okay in our state. And if we, we should be having that conversation, we shouldn't say marijuana is bad, unhealthy, can kill people, is dangerous, if it's an ounce or over, but if it's an ounce or less, and it's has to go back. That's a majorly inconsistent message that the state of Connecticut or any other state can send as a, as a policy to be debating, do you want to make marijuana legal or not? And that should be the discussion. It shouldn't be, well, if it's an ounce or less, not so bad. If it's more than that, you should probably go to jail. I mean, that, 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 if you have a half an ounce of marijuana in your hand, okay, just take it and put it in your hand. That would be an infraction now. Somebody, if, if the cops caught you and you had it in your hand, they just give you a ticket, you sign it, send the fine in, $100, and that would be it. But if you had that same half an ounce of marijuana wrapped in rolling papers in your pocket, that's a whole different story. Then you would still, it would still be a criminal misdemeanor. That would mean you'd still be be forced to do what goes on now, go to court, possibly go to jail, go to a diversionary program, whatever goes on now. So half an ounce in your hand, loose, not that big of a deal. Half an ounce, you know, 20, 30 joints in your hand, or or in a plastic bag. If the pot's in a plastic bag, bad. If it's in your hand, loose, not so bad. You know, I mean, it's just.